Hey guys, Paul McLean here, and uh, welcome to the Family First Live West Coast podcast. I've got a very special guest today. I got Kyra Harris. Kyra, good to have you on. That's good. Yes. Oh, I like it. See, most people don't do some something energetic, and that's the thing I, I'm telling you guys. When I spoke to Kyra the first time, which was what a couple of days Literally. ago, right? <laughs> Literally. So I'm excited to get to, to start to getting to know you. Right. And um, the first conversation I had with you, I just I and I think I told you this. I felt I felt like I had more energy, like mm -hmm. I wanted to go out there and do more and be more after I got off the call for with you. I would just encourage everybody on here. There's people that if you if you think about that, like who makes me feel like that? Whoever it is, talk to them more frequently, right? Because there's some people where I'm like, man, I feel like I got to get baptized again. Like, where's the pastor? Brandon, here, get over here. <laughs> like, we got to do this again. Because it's like, my God, that was that draining. I feel like I'm just exhausted, depleted, you know? And, and so there's people like that. They go both ways. And um, I would just encourage you, if you want to go into, and this is just a side point. This is, I'm giving this to you guys for free. And then we're going to jump into getting to know Kyra. And, um, but, but if you want to elevate and level up, be the person that people want to talk to because the energy that you bring, man, it's contagious, right? Um, like when I, I asked you, Kyra, when we first hopped on this, what I asked you, I said, how are you doing? What did you say? Amazing. I'm on dial day. I'm enjoying my uh, dials and ensuring I'm helping families. <laughs> that's right. You said, you said it's a great yeah. day. It's dial day, right? And, and, and that's the thing. Like most people are like, dude, it's dial day. You know, it's like as if like Doomsday. somebody just died, you know? <laughs> Yeah, my dot my day died because it's dial day, right? But but hey, you know if if you gotta if you gotta do it, man, don't just endure it. Try to get your mind around and enjoying it, right? And and I think that's a powerful and important thing, is creating perceptual contrast so you can enjoy, not just simply endure, right? Because you could be instead of dialing today, you could be on a roof, laying roof. You could be doing all kinds of other things that are not as fun not as productive and do not pay like this pays. Cause man, I know you, you said it and we're going to talk about it, but you helped what 18 families your first yes, month. Is that right? Yes. Yes. First month. So the month that you're going to be the worst you're ever going to be mm -hmm. because you're only going to get better. 18 families served. And so that's why Kyra's on today, guys. She went out in 30 days, helped 18 families, which by the way, I never did in my first 30 days. And so that is, uh, it's pretty, 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 it's great to see the success that early on. Some people it takes them quite a while. Some people, it, it happens pretty quick, but we want to unpack some of the things that you did to do that. Because, you know, if you look at average family, you help is about the clients paying about a thousand dollars a year. And if you're at a hundred percent or above commission, you know, that's about, a, you know, $18,000 that could come in from helping about 18 families or it could be more, right? It just depends on your comp. So, um, Kyra, I want, I want everybody to kind of get to know you. Like I got to know you the other day um, and your story, like, you know, what, you know, what was kind of your, you know, prior FFL life? And then what, what, what were you looking for? How'd you find FFL and kind of go through that with us real quick before we kind of go into some of these other teaching concepts? Yes. Yes. Well, first and foremost, thank you so much for just having me on today. I'm really, really excited about it, but um I'm going to go ahead and just go straight into the story. Uh, as far as for myself, I worked in the banking industry. I work in international sales. I've worked, um, you know, my corporate career. I had a great corporate career. I worked in different entities, but I had a niche for sales for some reason. I just love helping people. I love being impactful to those situations. And personally, uh, I just have a love for life. You know, I have a love for just doing things that will position me to know that I can help you change the trajectory of your life just as well as my own. So I've been in multiple different opportunities, uh, definitely great industries that I've been a part of, but none of them were insurance. Okay. <laughs> None of them. Of course, someone had introduced me to it here or there. I may have uh, patronized their business by utilizing their services or just supporting them, but never whereas I was actually the person to be in the front and actually say, I'm going to take this on for myself. So I've done great things in my previous opportunities as far as with can you can you hear me? I'm sorry, because someone's called. Yeah, okay, yeah. Awesome, awesome. No, you're coming in. Uh, you're good. My previous well, previous opportunities, I've done great things within there. I've built teams. I've come from the network marketing background, but I still worked the full time job, y'all. I still worked the full time job. I understood the concept of having multiple streams of income because realistically, in the economy that we live in, we need multiple streams of income. So I I, I did great within those companies, and I love what I did, but. 
I don't know, something about this year, something happened. <laughs> and I don't know what happened, but it just was a shift. And we all can be a part of great industries and watch it gradually decline. Or we watch mm -hmm. our team gradually decline. And we're just wanting to be as impactful as we can. But we know that we still have to ensure that your own personal vehicle is running. You can motivate as many people as you possibly can. But if you're not motivated enough to get it done, you're going to be at a standstill. And I feel like I got to a point where I was at a standstill. And that's not a good feeling, especially when you're always on go-go, right? <laughs> so you were doing pretty well, right? You know, um, the 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 COVID situation took place, right? Mm -hmm. where, where the economy got hit. It, that, that affected you. Yes, it did. Right. And, um, and I think you said it right. You know, it's like when I fly the flight attendants, cause I got like 582 kids. They all come like, Hey, remember the oxygen mask drop, you know, put yours on first before you start yes. saving a kid because yes. you're going to die and you might only save one. And then they all mm -hmm. die. So you got to make sure that you're breathing if you want to give breath to somebody else. Um, but, but you know, that took place and, and it rattled you, right. You were t telling me yesterday that the income, you know, dropped quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you kind of found yourself looking at different, you know, venues yeah. or options or alternatives. And, and I think that, you know, Kyra, there's probably a lot of people right now that they're in that season, mm -hmm. like maybe whatever season you were in prior, it was providing a lot of fruit, but then the fruit yeah. just started to kind of like, you know, fall away. Mm -hmm. It just started to not grow the way it used to grow. And that could be in real estate, construction, building, mortgages, loans, lending. I mean, you look at where everything's at now how high foreclosures are up. I mean, I think it was up like 700% since last year. Refinances are down like 92%. I mean, there's a lot of industries that are going to be very much impacted by that. And I think the person that reinvents himself quickly, like they're fast to say, hey, I'm aware of the situation. I'm not going to pretend like this isn't happening. There's a pattern before me. And this pattern's happened before. Let me recognize that pattern. And let me go out there and find a new pattern and create a new pattern that's going to help me take me to where I want to go and create the lifestyle and the financial situation I want to have. And so I think that, you know, that's a lot of what I'm, when you're talking, that's what I'm hearing is like you recognize the pattern where it was going and you weren't so stuck and familiar of staying there mm -hmm. that you said, my dream is to do something more. So therefore maybe I have to, to jump and do something different. Yes. Right. Um, what, what was kind of like your, you know, what, 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 uh, that's an uncomfortable move. Mm -hmm. Even Ooh. if it's a right move, moving's uncomfortable, right? Um, what, what helped you make that? Was it your why? Was it your reasons, your North star that said, Hey, it's big enough to get uncomfortable. Can you kind of talk a little, maybe a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, I mean, to be quite honest with you all, it was some debt that started curing over time. You know, you, you make a little more extra money. You have a little fun with it, but I'm very responsible. But yet I did encounter some debt that year, this year. And it was a debt that I hadn't had to worry about in almost five years. So just imagine trying to realize, wait, what is my next option right now? What am I about to do? How am I going to make up for this? Now, granted, I can do what I have to do currently in my current business, but it still was not going to fulfill a certain fruit level that I needed at that moment. You know, when you start getting letters in the mail telling you this is due, that's due. And at one point in time, everything was paid accordingly. <laughs> so for myself, I, I just said, it's time to pick up the pace. It's time to make a move. And prior to finding FFL, I was in a previous company that I never made the move. I really was just sitting there still comfortable still comfortable with what I currently had, not knowing what vehicle was going to elevate or take me to that next level. And then I received an amazing cold call one day. Yes, cold call marketing does work, y'all. <laughs> I received a call from Miss Melissa and I just remember the call and I remember speaking to her and then she's like, you're insured in Texas and we would love to welcome you aboard and da da da, da. And I'm just like, okay, everything sounds good. I like what I'm hearing. I'm not happy where I'm currently at put me on the phone with someone who can answer my questions. Like, you know, she can answer you. She was answering as best as she could, but there were certain questions I needed to know because I now was exposed to this industry and you get your license in, you start learning and adapting to the different things that this, this opportunity can provide, but you still need a moment of where it's going to click. And 
The products we have, are, of course, are amazing. But then I needed the mentorship and someone who respected where I was at this point of my life. Like I can go out there and work. No problem. You give me the assignment, I'm going to do the work. But I need to know also that I have the type of leadership just as well as a systemated system that is going to ensure that it will work because it works, y'all. <laughs> I don't know no other way to say it. I love it. that. <laughs> but so you basically got to a point where you're like, okay, something's got to change, mm-hmm. right? You, you, you looked up and your, your mind was open. Yeah. I think that's probably the biggest thing because when somebody reached out to you, if, if, you know, if you're like not open-minded, you're not taking a call, a call randomly. And Melissa, did she just call you because you had an insurance license and maybe got your information from like um, a data place or did she, what, did you ever fill out a lead for recruiting or like, no, a, 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 I, I don't know. She just randomly okay. called and said, Hey, you know, we see you have your license in the state of Texas. We're uh, welcoming new agents aboard our company. And I had never heard of the it. company before. So by the way, guys, for all you, everybody on here, that's like, man, I want to recruit and build a business, right? That's the most affordable way to do it mm-hmm. is, is getting data from the department of insurance. It, it's like literally nothing. It doesn't cost hardly anything. You can pick specific States. Um, you can use CSG actuarial, which is phenomenal. They're an integrity okay. uh, company and they're significantly cheaper than any other kind of company when it comes to data and getting that, but you can get data and then you could reach out to them, call them and, and have a conversation with the person that's got their license and, and Kyra, that's exactly what Melissa did. You're open minded. She caught you at the right, right time. time. And uh and then you had that conversation, you know? And um let me ask you this, like did did you have to like overcome any kind of doubt because you know somebody's reached out to you randomly and then got you connected with Rami and you guys started talking and Rami's a Hall of Fame producer, yeah. right? And so he's talking about, you know, stuff that uh, is answering the questions you've got because he's gone through it all. Did you have doubt to overcome to to really pursue this with a belief that was necessary to actually get results and, and, and you take the right activity? What did that look like for so, you? So quite honestly, you know, when you are in industries that cold marketing is a part of your system, I actually prefer that. You know, I like to talk to a random okay. stranger. I prefer interacting with someone. But for me, when I spoke on the phone with Rami, he reassured me that he knew what he was talking about. He, he made me feel confident that if I do follow his leadership, I will be on that trajectory to success. So there's a certain, and then he talks fast like me. I talk fast. And I, you know how some people personalities just match with yours, mm-hmm. mesh with yours as well. And I felt it. And I was like, okay. All right. I still didn't get started right away. Now, granted, I signed up, but I still didn't jump in. I think I signed up at the end of July. I regret okay. not working soon as I got started. I'm going to be honest. Again, what, what caused you to start working, though? Like, you know, was it well, the what end happened of the where month. you finally said, OK, I'm going to do it? <laughs> the end of the month came and I said, I got to pay my mortgage. <laughs> I'm being honest. That'll do it. It came to that there point. You go. I got to pay my mortgage. And this money here can only pay for the things that I'm trying to fix. So, or trying to, you know, gradually eliminate. So I knew that that pace and speed by August 29th was on some, let's get, let's get it done. We have to finish this. We don't have time to procrastinate. It's time, Kyra. And I'm so happy. I made the decision to finally just say it's time to jump in and you will learn. I'm I'm happy too. (laughs) I'm happy because we're, we're a better team for having you on. And I, and I absolutely mean that. Um, and, and that's really our, our our goal is just to continue to reach out to these families that send in forms and asking for yes. help um, and not not prejudge and then and then be persistent. You know, there's a lot of families that I called uh, one week and they weren't interested, but I called them back three weeks later and they're very, very interested in because we don't know what's shifting and changing in their life that causes that that shift of interest to take place, right? Maybe somebody got sick or somebody passed or they experienced some kind of situation where it caused them to almost hit this, this bottom of like, Oh my gosh, man, I really need some protection. Cause I don't want my family to right. go through what, what my cousin's family went through or with my neighbor or whatever it is. Right. And it's the same thing for you, Kyra. Like if finally that end of the month, the, the pain of being like, Dude, I got to pay these bills and I don't have the money to pay these bills. That, that, that bottom moment, yeah finally said, well, I've got this. Let me go ahead and do this because the, comf- the uncomfortability of, of moving to take action is less than the, the pain of yeah. staying where I'm currently yes. at. And that has to take place, whether it's filling out a form mm-hmm. 
or reaching out to somebody that's, you know, working some different men, meaning the person that you know, that's in, let's just say real estate right now, that said nine months ago, you talked about it, you exposed them to family first life. And they said, man, not really interested right now. That person may be interested now. Your job is just to simply continue to invite people. That way, they have the ability to see this opportunity differently because of the situation that they're, that they're currently in that wasn't the same maybe six months ago, right? And that's the same thing that you're talking about, Kyra, that, that happened for you. All right, last question I've got. You're, you're, when, I, when I said this, I opened it up, you know, and we've, this is our second time talking, yes. right? And I felt it the first time. I feel it more now, right? Because maybe because I can see right? it too. <laughs> but, the, but the energy, I, you know, and you're right. Rami does speak fast. He speaks so fast. Sometimes I think he's speaking in tongues. Like it ain't him. It's the Holy Spirit or something. Like, dude, what did you just say, man? Like, what was that show? I love it. Guy, Keep uh, it up. Keep it up. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Remember that show? Um, gosh, Boom Howard? Yes. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so I'm talking wrong, like, what are you saying, dude? King yeah, King yeah. Of the, that's right. Yeah, I remember watching that as a kid. That was a good show. Um, but yeah, sometimes he talks like that. But but he's he's fired up too. When I talked to Ryan, I told him that I told him the same thing I did. I said, dude, I just appreciate talking to you because you know you want to feel good about you know having a conversation with somebody that they're going to go out there and take action. They're positive. They got good energy and and, and they, they, like everybody, everything's moving from vibration yes. and um, you know it's just frequencies the way it works so so Kyra has your energy does it always stay at this level even when you had that month where you're like man this sucks like are you still always in a very positive kind of good energy good vibes good good frequency is that something that you always have and to be honest with you yes it is because you know growing up the way I grew up and and just having to have that level of confidence, but also reassuring yourself that you're worthy, reassuring yourself that you're capable to reach all these different strides. I don't like to be declined and I don't like to be told no. And especially in situations that could possibly elevate me. And for myself, I just had to re reassure myself at a young age, Kyra, you can do this, Kyra. Be, be grateful for everything that you do. And I know who's on my side. I know who's my higher power. So I never had to question, am I good enough for it? Or can I do it? If anything, I'm going to have the positive outlook. My sister tells me all the time, I never know when something's wrong, Kyra. And, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But the thing about it is, is that I know I'm going to figure it out. I believe enough in myself that I will figure it out. And I have caught myself in many situations that... That one moment of, oh, my God, I can sit and mope about it. Oh, I can take action and do something about it. So you got to pick your battles wisely. And I know for myself and my life and the way I see my life continuously going to be, I got to do the work so that I can be able to receive those blessings and enjoy the blessings that's more to come. I mean, that was so good. We could literally spend... 30 minutes on a, on a podcast yeah, teaching on that. that. I mean, that was so good. Um, it just sounds like, like you don't make your situation mm -hmm. or circumstances or results define who you yeah. are. And I think that's such a big deal. And I think that does allow you to have that high energy, regardless and amidst situation, circumstances, you know, successes or failures that this is just, you know, where I'm going, who I am. I know who I am. I know who created me and I'm going to go out there and, and succeed and I'm going to use everything for yes. the benefit and find the good and all that. And I mean, I think when you have that, it's probably easier mm -hmm. and it's to keep that high energy. But I think when somebody starts to take what they're going through and let what they're going through define who they are, mm -hmm. I think that's very energy depleting. Ooh. And I think that that can also rob the energy that you've got, maybe the energy you need and that God's obviously called you mm -hmm. to because he calls us to rejoice in every yes, day. He, he didn't say rejoice in the good days. Okay. <laughs> like, he didn't say, hey, hey, today's a good day. Rejoice today. And I was rejoicing all every day, man. This is the day he made and, uh, and he'll work it all together for the good. But I think he's he obviously called us to, to be that light, mm -hmm. that salt and light, which means that, hey, even amidst adversity, man, you're going to see me and I know something's wrong mm -hmm. because, hey, I don't have terminal cancer today. It's another day. <laughs> that God's given me and I'm going to go out there and be the best. And I think that's a great way to glorify him and, and also be a light to others. Um, and I just love that the way you said it, I, I, I had not heard it like that. It was, mm -hmm. it was very good the way you put it. And, um, 
and I, and I, Hey, I think it's a good thing that, you know, people don't know when you're going through something. I think that, um, you know, for you to always have that energy and, and that excitement. And then when you're going through something, bring it to somebody, bring it to God, bring yes. it to somebody that can, <laughs> can help give you some feedback and help you get better. But just because you're going through something, you don't need to wear it where it affects everybody else. You know, it's one of our values in the office. I tell my staff, like, you know, there's going to be things that go, go, that happen. Yeah. I mean, life, you know, it's stuff happens. Life has some sucky things that take place. But wearing it to work doesn't do nothing but just affect everybody else. If you want to talk to me, I'm here to help you. I love you. I love everyone. Let, let's talk. You know, and I'll do my best to kind of speak life into you. But wearing it around where everybody can say, "Man, there's something wrong." Yeah. I mean, like that doesn't do anything but 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 you know, bad. So um, I love it, and and I just see you going really far places to help 18 families in one month. And you also have how many people do you have in class currently on your team? Oh my God, look, I hate to even say it like this, Paul, because you told me, Kyra, I need you to start tracking these days. All I know is when I shoot the text, I'm sending the information. I, I think personally I have at least at least 10, maybe more, but I'm trying to, right now I'm being more consistent with ensuring that people really understand what this is now. I am the type of person, I want to test the water first, make sure everything is good and, and we rolling after that. But in this situation here, I've confirmed it enough. I have the reassurance from amazing leaders. I have someone like you who actually took the time out of your day to call and speak and get to know a little bit more about me and, 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 and then give me a success track plan in the process. And that's the difference between, oh, you're just on the team. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, hope you do well. So you have you, Rami, Miss uh, Marisa, everybody like I, Christina, I don't even want to leave anyone out. But I can say that I feel confident that everyone that will partner with me in this business is going to succeed. And you want to feel that way when you're bringing on people that just want to see a change in their lifestyle, see a change in their finances, the trajectory of just their life and life and lifestyle. So I'm grateful to know that. And now I just feel like it's about to go crazy. I'm, I'm like about to explode because it's like motor mouth is coming out. I'm in clients' homes recruiting the kids. Like it's hilarious. <laughs> <Motor mouth. laughs> I like that. Well, I'll tell you this much. It actually happens. So I'm I'm a firm believer in and when you're doing something right and it makes sense, you better keep making sure everybody know it made sense. (laughs) I agree. I agree. Well, I love that. And um I think that your feeling is coming from a very positive outlook in 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 the future. And if you don't have that feeling today, I would just say, like, what are you staring at? Are you are you are you focused on the feeling that was derived from yesterday's setback, mm-hmm. or you know, or your last hour of phone calls? Like, man, keep your mind looking forward. If it's if it's gonna be that good, there's gonna be some resistance. You know what I mean? So, way it works, right? I remember watching these guys in the gym, Cairo, one time. They were they were doing these bands. Okay, yeah, you know, like, uh-huh. I don't know if you ever seen those. Bands. Yeah, and I was like, look at those fools. You know, like weak, they look like marshmallows <laughs> using a band. You know what I mean? Like. Real men throw dumbbells like using a rubber band. You know, I wanted to get a rubber band and flick it out. Like, what are you doing, <laughs> right? But hey, I, 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 all of a sudden, you know, after one of the days they were, they were done working out because they were working on these little rooms. I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go mess with that band. I hit that band. I'm like, that's Ooh. that 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 is no joke. Mm-hmm, it's not a joke. And so I stopped. I stopped. You know, you know, in my mind, calling them marshmallows. But I was like, no, these, these this is this is a workout, mm-hmm. and it's because the resistance yes. is so great. It's not like you're throwing away, you know, throwing around sixty pounds. It's the resistance mm-hmm. of that band, and and I think that's and I got the best gains from that, ironically enough. And I think it's the same thing in life. And so if you look at every day of that of resistance as just really validation that there's something great and something great to gain on the other side of that, then I think that'll keep you with that high level of energy and that, that feeling of, man, I'm fired up about what's to come. Even though I've got the resistance yes. now, the resistance leads to great gains the next day in the next month and, and to come. And so um, I see big things for you as well. And, and Kyra, when you said, Hey, when you call me that, that meant a lot. The, the, the thing is this: sometimes when you're reaching out to encourage somebody else, to help somebody else, to serve somebody mm-hmm. else, that person encourages you more than the encouragement you brought. And you did for me the other day, you know, just that conversation and, and the energy you had and, and, and the way we talked and you, how you went through your why and some of the things that you desire to do and break these generational, you know, kind of curse of poverty and, and, and get above that and be the one person in your family that can go out there 
and, and break that and start to set a whole new standard that mm. hey, we're, we're successful. Harris is our successful. Yes. I mean, Speak the it. stuff you were talking about, I, I was just like, man, this is good. And so you encouraged me. And, uh, I think more than I, than I brought any encouragement to you. And so guys, um, if you want to work with Kyra, Casey, if you can, let's put, put her number, um, on the screen, you can reach out to her directly. Um, she's got a great team that she's working with, you know, a, a great level and I guess layers of leadership mm -hmm. that work within the organization that will support you and help you. And so if you're thinking about it, that must, that might be an indication mm -hmm. and be indicative of the fact that you might need to move. Let's go. It's time to get uncomfortable. It's time to reinvent yourself yes. and uh, take a step because this is something that's blessed many others. And um, we want to bless you with it. So reach out to Kyra and uh, guys, if this serves you well, like subscribe, share it and comment below. And uh, we're looking forward to, to seeing the next level yes. of success that Kyra has yes. and, and, and the success that's before you guys. So Kyra, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Appreciate you joining. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, go out there, make it a massive week. Be strong, stay steadfast, and we'll talk to you soon. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye.